Hi everyone, it's Emma here from Wild Things. I just want to spend a little bit of time giving you some ideas of how you can adapt your outside space at home to make it really child friendly. During the sessions at Wild Things, what I find works really well is set up the environment around them to allow them to follow their own interests um, and learn some new skills. So this is what I'm going to suggest that you try and do in your space that you have outside. So whether you've got a yard or a garden, some of these things you might be able to use. I'm not saying that you need to use them all, um, but it just gives you a few ideas. And this way, you can encourage the children to go outside and to play independently and to play um, and to follow their own interests rather than it having to be a set activity. One of the areas that um, the children absolutely love here at Wild Things is the tool area. So um, I have just some tree stumps here and we have hammers out and um, nails. We also have um, a little screwdriver. The stubby ones work really well with the children with their grip um, and screws and a variety of things for them to have a go at screwing in. Now obviously when children start using something like a hammer, you do need to show them how to use it safely. The fact that they don't need to wave it around too high to hammer it in. Um, you know, and they might actually stub their fingers every now and again, but they will learn from that. So you just model to them and show them and talk them through how you hold it, when you're hitting it in, and then when it's in enough, you can release it and just carry on hitting. And a lot of the really young children will just be really happy in just exploring, hitting hammer um, nails into wood. When they get a bit older, then they can start making them into other things. Um, so, something that works really well is having a vice so that you can actually, the children can hold the wood nice and still. And again, this is really good for their hand-eye coordination. So again, you just get a little nail, can hammer it in okay I often have a hand drill as well mine are broken at the moment but like just an old-fashioned hand drill um, works really well and the vice holds it really still now, if you don't have a vice don't worry something you can do you can make one a really simple one with just having a board and um, a couple of sticks of almost like kindling and then you can wedge the piece of wood that you're wanting to work with and that helps to secure it. Okay, so that's really quite secure now. So some, something as simple as that. Another area that we have here at Wild Things is the mud kitchen. So as you can see, this is just made from old pallets um, and an old sink. Um, and they love, they love mixing up potions and making soup and all sorts of things. Now, I normally have a water tub here so that they can access their own water. Um, but it doesn't have to be as fancy as this. You don't need to have a palace um, to create your own mud kitchen. So I'm going to show you a very low key um, mud kitchen that actually, this is how it started with Wild Things when we used to run in parks. When Wild Things first started, um, I was running in parks. So everything I had, I had to be able to pack up and put in the back of the car. So I didn't have a permanent mud kitchen. What I actually used was a plastic box and that was my storage. So I would store everything in the box and then took everything out when I got to the park and then that would become my cooker. Or if you've got any um, tree stumps, you could have it on a tree stump. And then just have a little look around, see what you've got at home in your kitchen and get your children a good play with. Anything they can make good tea out of, old soup um, boxes, things with holes in so they can do lots of pouring and children will have hours of fun playing with this. Something else that you can easily develop as well is trying to get hold of some old drain pipes. So we've got some drain pipes here and um, these were actually taken from a skip and um, so if you know of anyone that's doing any building work then you could maybe ask them for some and the children can roll things down these and they spend ages doing this. So Joe's going to demonstrate. So one of the things they like rolling are, are cars. 
We also like to roll down natural objects like conkers and avocados. Yay! Avocado stones. So another area that we have here at Wild Things is a simple mud pit. Okay? The children can dig here. Um, we often have some um, plastic dinosaurs out, sometimes it turns into a dinosaur world. We have the fowl and forks out, they do digging, they find massive worms in here, they hide things, they bury things. So it's just a very versatile, versatile spot. Now, you don't have to have one as big as this. It could even be a truck with some mud in. Um, it could be a corner of the garden. Um, when my children were younger, we used to, I used to allow them have the, a little spot in front of the apple tree where they dug. There were no flowers there, that was their digging spot. So you can really, you know, just find a little corner of them. So another area that you can um, easily develop is by having a box of your children's favourite books. So here we have a simple wooden crate with um, a section of books in, um, a rug so it's somewhere nice for them to sit down and then again you can come and sit down and have a story time, they can have a look at books at their own leisure. So it's another little space that you can create for them.